My friend, you've got style, grace, and charm. The style of a feral ghoul, the grace of a super mutant, and the charm of a death claw. Ah, his jokes are pretty corny. Hello, survivors, and welcome to We Who Survive. My name is James, and this is episode 22 of our Viva New Vegas run now, so we're getting pretty far out there. Hey, look at this gal. I didn't know they went bromin into this joint. Wow, that was rude. All right, so I'm going to double check our ammo situation, and then I think we're pretty much going to get a move on. I think we're pretty much going to get a move on and what we're going to move on to is the brotherhood of steel mission with veronica i believe that seems like a good idea to me all right we are a little light on nine millimeter which i don't like because my nine millimeter is basically always my real weapon so i think we'll stop by the gun runners real quick All right, 37, that's the number. 37 rounds of nine millimeter, so. We'll see what comes up. And Veronica, for this mission, you need us to go where? Brotherhood of Steel thing. Nope, nope, there we go. All right, so now let's go see what our girl Veronica wants us to get up to. What's the closest we can go? Sure, we'll start from Repcon. Whoa, okay, all right, you know what? M maybe didn't think that through. Maybe didn't think that through. Maybe, maybe didn't think that one through. Hey, bud. Hey. I didn't know that there was like a mission goal thing for that. Okay, well, let's do it, boy. Yeah, that's right. You mess with the best, you get the rest, or something. Okay. All right, maybe Repcon is not the best site to start from. Let's go out here. I mean, screw it. We already killed all these people. <laughs> As that dude's flopping over. All right, let's go find the Brotherhood of Steel for our girl, Veronica. That's what she wants. That's what she gets. She's our lady, so we're going to... Do what we can here. Dang, a dynamite. I was, ooh, I was gonna say I was hoping for a sunset, and there's a sunset too. All right, why do I feel like we're entering the gates of hell by doing that? Okay, so we are just gonna head to the Brotherhood of Steel place. Hopefully it's nice and quiet along the way, and not much happens. Who are these boys? Powder gangers, huh? Wow, we gained karma. Oh, you're gonna blow yourself out, kid. You're gonna shoot your eye out. Anyone else got anything to say? Let's go. Let's go, boy. There ain't nothing. Powder gangers. Hope you didn't need that leg. Cool, thanks for the help. EDE was actually doing work. I don't, I don't think Veronica did anything, but EDE was doing work. We'll carry that 9 mil just as a repair for Maria. A note. The note reads, Some of the fellows farther north are trying to organize. We're starting to think it's a good idea. Got to pool resources if we're going to survive out here. Sure, we've noticed a decline in travelers. If they're getting wise, so should we. A, what? What is this damaged garden gnome? Is that just like the coolest useless item in Fallout New Vegas? Well, he's pretty sick. 
I sort of want to take them just to set them up in my room. Not that it's very easy to set up. Gotta, like, get lucky here to stand them up. Oh. Ah, alright. You know what? You suck. Alright, we're not taking the damage guard gnome, then. On we go. Watch out for that, Veronica. Yep. Knew that was gonna happen. Oh boy, I forgot to drink the toilet water before we left. So... It looks like we're coming up on the boomers, but I'm telling myself we're not, and we're not just gonna randomly get exploded. Yep, Hidden Valley. I'm not a fan of ranch, but if you're a fan of ranch, this is uh, this is where it comes from, folks. Right here, in Fallout New Vegas. Hey, we found an entrance. Ban the bomb. Fight apathy or don't. Billy rules, you suck. Steve was here. Some developer clearly was in love. No bombs, peace, love, give peace a chance, peace, all wars. Okay, alright, very nice graffiti, boys. What? Something was about to attack us. Okay, I guess we came in just in time. Knock, knock. Hold on, I've got this. Yeah, take it over, girl. I'd like a large atomic shake and a double Brahmin burger. And easy on the agave sauce this time. We gave you a password, Veronica. It's for your safety. I know where you live, Ramos. Open up. <sighs> for Pete's sake, opening up. Welcome back, Veronica. Thanks. Thought I would get to say something. Listen up. I'm in charge of security around here, and I can't say I'm too happy about having an outsider waltzing around. But since you came in with Veronica, I'm inclined to cut you a little slack. Just behave yourself, and we won't have any problems, okay? Oh, and the Elder's going to want to talk to you. He's on the second level. Just take a right once you get down there. My office is right here in case you need anything. Just ask for Ramos. All right, thanks, Ramos. So we're going here? Looking sharp, Ramos. Download complete. Begin recording. Navarro Outpost Scientist, I am glad that EDE has reached you. You will find several data banks of information on this machine. Whoa, continue. Please handle this information with the utmost care as it represents the sum total of the results of my research on the Duraframe iBots. There are also several data banks with information on my research into Poseidon Energy and some projects they were working on in the Mojave area. Helios will be ours again someday. Cool. Wait, so does that advance us in EDE's mission? Huh, okay, I don't know. Maybe these guys will know, but whatever. Okay, that's pretty cool. I totally forgot that would happen. I definitely have seen that before, but totally forgot that would happen. Holy turrets, man. These dudes are bossed up. Ah, how do I get where I'm going? This is a rather intricate vault. Bunker. Hi, Elder. Hello, Veronica. How goes your mission? We'll know in a second. I wanted to talk to you. Veronica, tell me this isn't about... Yes, goddammit, it is. But you're gonna hear me out this time. We've been through this. The things I've seen now, other groups succeeding where we fail, it's not too late for us. We've outlasted the end of the world. We'll outlast these upstarts. Waiting in a hole for everyone else to die. If we must. This is a dead end for us. I see no evidence of that. Nor do I see anyone out there with a solution to our problems. How could you? You're too scared to look. Let's go. We're wasting our time. Dang, so that's it? When Paladin Ramos informed me that Veronica was approaching with an outsider in tow, at first I didn't know what to think. After giving the matter some thought, however, I've decided that an outsider could be of use to me right now. However, I will not force you to help us. Should you refuse, you will be allowed to leave here, though you'd remain Veronica's responsibility. 
What do you say, outsider? Are you willing to help us? I mean, maybe. I don't know. Then allow me to explain our situation. This bunker is currently locked down, allowing no entry or exit, with you being one of the few exceptions. In exceptional cases, teams are sent out to investigate sites or retrieve materials deemed too important to ignore. Three such teams have gone missing recently, and the news of their disappearance has not yet been widely spread to avoid undue concern. In order to maintain the peace and adhere to the strictures of the lockdown, I need to send someone else to discover what happened to them. Ah, uh, sure, dude. I'm glad I can count on you. Oh, and one other thing. The patrols each had a holotape detailing their missions that you can use to track them. The shielding of the bunker prevents us from actively tracking them, but their positions should show up on your map once you get to the surface. Should our worst fears become realized, please bring back all three of the holotapes from the patrols. Otherwise, bring our brothers home. I've given the order that you be given access to some of the equipment our scouts and patrols have scavenged over the years. You won't be allowed to purchase any prohibited equipment, but hopefully some of what's available will prove useful to you. I don't know, we'll see about that, dog. I ain't got a lot of weight, but alright. I feel like we have to talk with Veronica outside of here. I'd slap him around, but he stood at my parents' wedding. Plus, he used to make excuses to get me out of my punishment when I'd slept through head scribe Taggart's lectures. Figure I owe him for that. <sighs> he means well. Well, what now? I'm not giving up. He wants evidence, but he'll never go looking for it. He's scared I'm right. He'll never listen unless I hold the proof right in front of his face. Okay, and you think he'll listen at all? He's a stubborn old man, but when it comes down to it, he's got our best interests at heart. If he sees some indisputable sign we're on the wrong course, he won't ignore it. All right, well, what can we bring? I don't know. I don't know. We need something that shows the Brotherhood will fail. Or that it can do better a different way. The only thing that gets his attention is technology. Huh. Maybe Father Elijah had the right idea. Father Elijah? Our elder before McNamara. He had a nose for recovering lost technology. He'd send scribes out into the desert chasing whatever leads he found. There were a few he only trusted me with. I can think of at least one that'd prove my point, if it still exists. There's a comm terminal not too far from here I'd use to access messages from him. If we go there, I can pull up his research on it. Dang, all right, let's head out. I'm with you. Being around here isn't the same anymore. All right, well, let's go see. So, Whoa. You're the outsider that's been given leave to wander around freely. Desperate times call for desperate measures, I guess. Name's Harden. I'm the head paladin of this chapter, and I think we might be able to help each other out. I don't know what the Elder talked to you about, but I can tell you this chapter is in trouble. And he's at the center of it. Are you willing to listen to what I have to say? Sure, I love drama, dude. As you may have already heard, this entire base is under a state of lockdown. No one goes out except small patrols at night. Most of the chapter has been sealed in here for years. And those few who are outside when the lockdown was initiated are forbidden from returning. Morale has plummeted as time has gone by. And many of our current paladins haven't seen combat outside of training simulations. And all because of the Elder's explicit order that no one be allowed in or out. The only way things will change is if a new Elder is installed. Alright. And, uh, how do you propose that? I don't know. I've gone through our records dozens of times looking for a precedent regarding the dismissal of an Elder and come up with nothing. The people who are most likely to know how it could be done are also some of McNamara's strongest supporters. So they refuse to help me, which is why we're having this conversation. An outsider such as yourself would arouse less suspicion asking questions about such matters. The fact that the Elder has some tasks for you means his faithful won't suspect you, and you have a line open to the man himself. In short, you're in a perfect position to help me. Will you at least think about it? Yeah, I'll, I'll see what I can do. That'll have to do. I'd recommend going to see Ramos first. As head of security, he's more familiar with our protocols than anyone else here. You could also try to find something relevant in our data store, though last I heard Scribe Ibsen is having a bit of a problem accessing it. And if McNamara should give you any tasks, I'd ask that you kept me abreast of them. 
Report anything you find to me, and we'll move from there. All right, interesting politics. All right, interesting politics. Veronica brings an outsider into our home, then has a private audience with the elder. The two of you may have the elder fooled, but we know better. Veronica has always twisted the founder's principles to her own ends. We will not stand idly by and allow her to corrupt our elders' thinking. All right. Everyone's Sorry, super Veronica. touchy here, man. Just because I love them doesn't mean some of them aren't assholes. Yeah. All right. Well, let's do the current thing for Veronica, because Veronica is our baby, our darling, and I don't care about any of those other people. Oh wow! Looks like we came out into a bit of a storm, eh? All right. So, oh, she wants to go to Gibson. We could just go to Gibson. I'm so confused where we're going, people, but. I'm just following the marker. Here we go. This is where she wants us to be. Gibson Shack. This? Welcome, Veronica. Okay, download research notes. Let's see what we've got here. Okay, yeah. This is the one I was thinking of. The pulse gun. Although, maybe the rangefinder could work too. And it looks like the NCR was onto some miracle farming technology. Uh, what's a pulse gun? Electromagnetic weapon from before the Great War. Experimental. It never saw mass production. But they were building it as a countermeasure to power armor, which they feared the Chinese were developing. Supposedly a prototype was being housed at Nellis. Imagine what it could do to the Brotherhood. We'd be on equal footing with any idiot with a gun. On farming technology? Hmm, more or less. Supposedly it's a vegetation enhancer. NCR has a science branch headquartered at McCarran Airport guess they found something guess somebody wasn't very good at keeping secrets either we'd never pursue it because it's not a weapon but self-sufficiency is fundamental to us if it works they'd see the value of an alternate course all right tell me about the rangefinder it's a targeting device for some kind of doomsday weapon based at helios one it was lost sometime after the war we held helios one for a time lost a lot of people defending it too many all for this weapon they never got working if it turns out to be a dud, it should show how flawed our goals have been. Father Elijah said he thinks a scavenger might have sold it on the strip. Yeah, um, about that. Let's pursue the pulse gun. Yeah, maybe they'll think twice about engaging the NCR if they know one of those could be floating around. The notes say to look around Nellis Air Force Base. He suggests going through filing cabinets and computers in the commanding officer's quarters. You know what? That might be a bad idea. Oh, wait, it's all the NCRs, so they're going to hate us no matter what. If I do the rangefinder, do I get to keep it? I'm not giving up my thing. All right, let's go find it. I like the way you think. We'll just freaking murder all the NCR. What's it matter anyway, dude? If the NCR don't like me, then they can die. And that's about where I'm at with that at this point. Okay, some empty bottles. That'll be nice because we did drink some waters and we got more waters to drink. A lawnmower blade. Wow, look at that. Pretty epic. Okay, cool, Veronica. Thank you. Let's, uh... Let's head out. Alright, well, before we start this, I'm gonna get some water and some food real quick and then we'll go ahead and get started. All right, folks, we are going to start from out here at the gun runners. And where exactly are we going? Why will it not actually show me? All right, so we've got a long walk. There's a fiend up here. Very nice. Thank you for the help, people. Alright, so we're going to get a move up north towards Nellis Air Force Base, and we're going to see what that's about. We're going to at least get there. Oh boy, I hear some action on our way to Nellis. This episode's getting long, so we might not actually make it to Nellis. Dang, she got laid out. Who'd she get laid out by? A merchant? Yeah, she got way laid out. 
Dang. All right. Well, let's go see what this dude has for sale. Maybe something good. The Robo Brain friendly? I'm sorry, but I am not at liberty to chat right now. What's up with you? Oh, you were sleeping? What's up, sleeping boy? Hey there. Need anything? Ah, uh, he doesn't got nothing too good. It was worth a chuck, though. Okay, more NCR people. We're probably gonna run across a lot of them. Dang, what are they doing freaking out on this Brahmin for, dude? That Brahmin didn't do nothing to... Yo, they're just going around killing all these Brahmin. That's wild. Find a little shack? Fields Shack. Oh, I don't know who Fields is, but he had a lot of bottles, so that's pretty cool. Cooler if he had a place to fill them. Dang, Fields, you got some ammo, boy. Whoa, 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 look at all this lovely stuff. All right, all right. Who this man? Whoa there, pal. You better slow down, or you'll get blown up like the rest of the idiots who thought they'd scavenge in Boomer territory. Now that I've got your attention, might you be interested? Yeah, you can tell me or you can die. Whoa, simmer down. I'll tell you, I'm a gambler and a scavenger. I've made some cash from gambling and some cash from... Yeah, let's go. Oh, lordy lordy. You have... There are a bunch of artillery slinging, grenade lobbing odd jobs camping out in Nellis. Wander into their territory, and you're as good as mincemeat. All right, how do I get past? There is a way, and I'll tell you. For a little wager. Freaking gambling addict, let's go. Well, I know the secret to get past. If you give me the caps, I'll tell you. If you make it back alive, I'll double your money. I don't know if I trust him. Thanks for the warning. Suit yourself. I assume you have 300 caps on you then, huh, dog? Yeah. Oh, he didn't even have 300 caps. You dirty freaking liar. All right. Well, I know what's ahead. I don't remember how I used to do it, but... I do know what's ahead. What, what was the strategy? Like, you stop in between at the buildings or something? Um, you two might die, and that's just, I guess, a fact of life. Okay, maybe I'll have you guys stay here. Dog, I don't know what the right answer is. Let's just give it a shot. Nikes, man. Okay. I know there is some sort of actual secret because I used to do it, but I do not recall that. A little doctor's bag there. A little, uh... Inspired stim packs, and we're good as new. Look at us. Hi, boomers. Hold it right there. Don't you move. How the hell did you survive that bombardment? Very carefully. I'm not telling you a thing, savage. Move a muscle now, and I'll blow you to pieces. I didn't come here to attack you, then dude. Just, just stay where you are. Raquel will be here any second. I'll take this from here. I'm Raquel, Master at Arms for the Nellis Homeland. Mother Pearl, our eldest, wishes to speak to you. All right, let's go. Let's do that. Follow close and mind your behavior. Welcome, child. Took your sweet time getting here, didn't you? I've been waiting a good five years for an outsider to come along and visit. Okay, how can I help? Oh, so many ways. Small ones to begin with, so we can get used to what it's like to have a sav- 
uh, outsider around and about. Should that go well, it may be you can help in big ways, too. We'll have to see. All right, well, how can I trust you if we can keep secrets? You have to keep in mind that you're our first contact with the outside world since I was barely a woman. Seclusion has kept us safe, but the world around us is changing. Neon lights in the distance, patrolling robots, soldiers. My youngers think our guns can keep out the world, but I think we need to let it in just a little or become its victim. You're that little bit of the world, child. Welcome to Nellis. Dang, thanks, lady. Where do I start? You picked a good time to stop by, for we're swimming in problems. My youngers can tell you all about it. Raquel could use help with the bug problem. Doc Argyle has wounded he's tending to. And Loyal and Jack might be looking for help with some repairs. Or you could just go see Pete at the museum and hear the story of our people. All you have to do there is listen. Come and go as you like, help or don't help, I leave it up to you. But I hope you'll show my youngers that not every outsider needs to be blown up. Hey. Cool. Oh, you got a bit beat up, huh, Veronica? Yeah, we both sort of got exploded on. Oh, wow, this is what we're looking for. One of these is... Okay, I don't know. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, so I did a video wrap up, but I'm going to scrap that one and do a new video wrap up. So apparently all we needed for Veronica was right in here. And now we've got our information and we are good to go. Um, We'll probably just... Yeah, Pearl's sleeping. So we'll probably just sack the whole place then too. I don't think there's much, but there's definitely a little bit around here. Oh, see, look at that. Dang, son. Oh, 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 dang. Okay, we're not. Yep. All right, that's going to wrap up. Face before you get yourself hurt. How is your visit with. All right, well, she doesn't know we stole, so that's good enough for me. Thank you for watching episode 22 of Viva New Vegas. I hope you've enjoyed yourself and have a good time. I did, and I will see you in the next episode. Thanks again for watching. Appreciate you.